This week on WDD's Hotspot, Google researcher Kevin Murphy unveiled a project he and coworkers have been working on called I'm Two Calories. It's essentially an app that allows a user to snap a photo of a plate full of food with their phone and get back a calorie estimate immediately. Imagine ordering a burger, snapping a picture of it, and getting a quick estimate of how many calories you're about to consume. No, actually, that kind of sounds horrible. Maybe try it out on a salad first. The app would rely on multiple types of technologies, including image recognition, access to a food or calorie database, and the ability to learn. In its current state, the app is not all that accurate when first used, but as it learns over time, it is hoped that it will get better at identifying what is on a plate. For example, noting details in a photograph that help distinguish a fried burger from one that's grilled. One obviously has a lot more calories than the other. The project is part of deep learning effort going on at Google, where AI technology is used to help marry image and pattern recognition recognition. With I'm Two Calories, after a picture is taken and the system analyzes what it sees, it sends a report listing what it believes it has found. Grilled burger, slice of tomato, extra guacamole, obviously. The user then has the option to make corrections. The system would then make a correction and add a note to its database so that the next time it won't make the same mistake. At this time, it's not clear what will happen with I'm Two Calories, as it's just technically a research project at this point, but no doubt the technology will surely be used in the future, if not in this app, then with another. We all want to be fitter, stronger, and more active. Lots of us have even invested in gym balls to sit on while at our desks all day. But what if there was a way to take that fitness trend one step further? Introducing the Movo Ball, a motion sensing cradle that connects a gym ball to your smartphone and other devices to play games and fitness applications. Movo Ball acts like a gaming controller that uses your body motion to move the gameplay or character as you would with keys or a joystick. By linking to output readers, such as heart rate monitors, it can also show you the physiological effect the game is having on you. The device is a standalone Bluetooth enabled accelerometer and gyroscope motion controller that syncs with the Movo Ball interface to drive motion within your applications and games. The exercise comes from involving a much wider range of muscles working against your own body weight. The game is the exercise and the exercises are part of the game. Soon it will even be possible to play retro games such as Doom, Space Invaders, and Pac-Man. So what are you waiting for? Roll your way over to Kickstarter and check out the project for yourself. How many times have you circled around looking for parking in urban areas? It's super stressful, especially for us Jersey drivers, and it's one of the many reasons why I'm usually late. <laughs> it's so awkward. The time-consuming search stops now, thanks to BMW's new dynamic parking prediction system. Developed in partnership with transportation intelligence and connected car services provider Inrix, the research project uses digital mapping and fleet data to predict where there will be free spaces. The digital maps show which streets have on-street parking and the anonymous movement data from a test fleet of several thousand vehicles as they are leaving and searching for spaces makes this service actually possible. The system uses its prediction algorithm to predict the availability of spaces in the local area and the results will be available on a dashboard display. So what about other drivers who are also circling around looking for spots? They're taking that into consideration too. Both the number of parking spaces that the system calculates to be available and the number of drivers looking for spaces are factored in. The system is still in prototype, but once refined, BMW will integrate the technology into its vehicles. Now, if somebody would just buy me a BMW, John, Sarah, no? Okay. Sprite is a new unmanned aerial vehicle that focuses on portability and durability. So whether you're an active outdoor enthusiast, a photographer, or a commercial operator who just needs to get a job done, Sprite is as portable and as rugged as you are. The device consists of four rotor blades and a compact and water-resistant airframe that makes it easy to carry and store. Depending on the mission, Sprite has a range of up to four miles and is equipped with a fully autonomous autopilot with GPS and in-flight telemetry. Users can also create flights by mapping pathways on a tablet or smartphone. From orbiting and photographing objects in high definition to mapping out the terrain in targeted areas, Sprite does it all. It has a range of applications, including outdoor adventures, search and rescue, security and law enforcement, urban planning, and offshore and overwater inspection. It is the first product from Ascent Aerosystems, and you can currently back the project on Kickstarter. 
That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Sarah Goncalves. Thanks for watching. Why do I always add words and they're not there? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where I came up with those words.